I was thinking of one of my favorite quotes by St. John Paul the Great, where he says that God in his deepest mystery is not a solitude, but a family. Since he has in himself fatherhood, sonship, and the essence of family, which is love. So just those words that God in his deepest mystery, that word mystery, um, we know that as we approach this mystery, we can't fully grasp it. This is a mystery to be pondered and a gift to be received. Three of the most beautiful words ever uttered come in the first letter of St. John. God is love. God is love in himself. In his deepest mystery, he is a communion of love. So what does this mean for us? We hear in the second reading that the Father sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Um, that the Trinity has opened Himself up that we may enter in. That in Jesus taking on flesh and in offering His life for us and rising from the dead and ascending to the Father and sending His Holy Spirit, it's the end of a relationship with God that is merely external. But the Trinity has opened Himself up that we may enter in. And so as we go forth today, we can ask Our Lady, uh, particularly Our Lady of the Most Holy Trinity, who's the patroness of, of our soul community. She who is beloved uh, daughter of the Father and teaches us how to become a child of God. Um, she who is you know, mother and perfect disciple of the Son who teaches us how to follow Jesus. And she who is spouse and temple of the Holy Spirit, who shows us how to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and nurture that life within us. We can ask her to to help us, to pray for us, and follow her example of how to enter more fully into the great mystery of the triune God who loves us so much that he would stop at nothing to bring us to himself. God bless you.